<coughs> Yay! I haven't made a video for four months. I am going to discuss why, but the most important thing is that I do plan to make more videos, and one of them is going to be a Q&A video. I did make a Q&A video quite a while ago, but I've got 2,000 more subscribers than I did then, so I'm going to do another one. So if you've got any questions that you want to ask me in a future video, tweet them to me at Discover Me Ross, send them to me on Instagram, Ross Big Dyke, or just leave them in the comments of this video. There's a few reasons why there hasn't been any content on this channel in about nine months, but the overarching one is that I just couldn't be bothered. It sounds lazy, and it is, but I just didn't have the same want to make a video. Luckily I only have a small subscriber count so there wasn't the same pressure there to make a video than there would be if like someone with a million subscribers didn't make a video for four months. But I did still get tweets and messages saying like why aren't you making videos anymore I want to see you make a video. And then tweets and messages would make me want to make a video but then soon enough I'd think oh there's no point because it's only going to get 100 views. And that sounds dead ungrateful but that's the reality. It is disheartening to spend time making a video to then upload it and for it to not even get the same amount of views as subscribers. Like imagine putting loads of effort into a piece of schoolwork or something and then you get a bad grade for it when you know that you put effort into it. That's kind of what it feels like. But never mind me moaning about that, I'm still here, the channel is still alive. Another big reason is that I just haven't had time. When I first started this channel I had a big summer holiday to make loads of videos and this summer holiday from 2017 I had an even longer break but the thing is I was in a relationship so me and my boyfriend were just wanting to spend time together like go on mini holidays and just do things together so I could have made time to make videos but I didn't really want to. Then it came to September, and if you don't know, I go to university, so when I went there, I really didn't have time to make videos. Being at uni is so weird, like, you put minimal effort in, and then you're tired for the rest of the day. It sounds like an exaggeration, but I would go to uni for three hours, I'd come back, and my body would be aching. Like, I'd be putting off doing my work for uni, so if I was making videos, that would just mean I was putting off my work even more. In this semester at uni, I directed and produced a five-minute short film, and I wrote a 30-page script. That might not sound like a lot to other people, but it felt like it. Also, I was cast as Josh in 9 to 5 the musical, which we're still in rehearsals for now. Performances start in March, get your tickets now. So every Monday and Thursday, I've been at a three hour rehearsal learning harmonies and dances and how to be a weed infused Disney character. Okay, so if you haven't noticed, this isn't the room that I normally film in, and that's because I've moved house. And we've been moving house since about June. My plan was to make a room tour video of this room where I'd start in the old room and like clap and then end up here and then let out my inner lifestyle vlogger. So here we are, it's an attic room. Oh, exposed beams, my knees are weak. Look at those views. Oh, it's raining. The symmetry, oh, the symmetry of the lamps. But that's a bit difficult to do when you're waiting to move house for five months. Five months. But we're in the house now and this is my new room. As you can see, there's Still things to be done, there's no lights on the wall at the moment. Similar to that point, I moved into a new house for when I'm at uni. I've moved out of like, student halls into a house. And I kept saying, I'll film a video when I've properly decorated my room. My room still isn't decorated, so I just never made a video. Another reason which sounds weird is I scared myself. I bought a new laptop which can run Premiere Pro, but the problem with that is I wanted to make a video that was good for my first video, so every idea I got, I was like, no, that's not good enough for like this new equipment that I've got. I'm like this with a lot of things, like I like the idea of doing something more than I actually do like doing it. So in terms of YouTube, I like planning the videos, writing the videos, and editing the videos, rather than actually filming the videos. Like, I got the idea to write a TV series the other day, and I was like all excited for it, like, yeah, I'll start tomorrow. Then it came to tomorrow, and I was like, mm. And that's just how I feel about YouTube at the moment. But I do have a few video ideas up my sleeve, so they'll be on this channel soon. But for the times that I don't have ideas, just tell me what you want me to do. Like, leave a comment saying, make a video about this, talk about this, or just send me questions and like I said, I'll do a Q&A video. Like, the questions will get answered because there won't be that many. Sorry that this video was a bit moany and me just being like, oh, I don't want to make videos, I can't be bothered, but that's just how I felt, so I thought that I'd do a quick update saying why I haven't been making videos, because some people have been wondering. It's not just me thinking that I've got loads of fans being like, <coughs> why is he not making videos? <laughs> Thanks for watching this video, if it made you laugh or smile at any point throughout, which it probably didn't, then give the video a thumbs up, and if you haven't seen me before but you like what you saw, then click subscribe and come back next week for more. Thank you!